Hello, another video on Peugeot 407 keys. I'm going to try and tell you as much information as that I know about these keys because you can get wrong keys for your Peugeot 407. Now, I've owned this car for quite a few years and I've always struggled with keys. And the problem is with the keys is people said that you can't buy cheap Chinese keys that will open and lock your car, start your car. I've seen loads of forums on these keys, cheap Chinese keys from AliExpress saying, yeah, they'll start your car, but they won't open your car door and they won't lock it or they won't open the boot. Wrong. You can get the right key. And I'm going to explain it to you. So this will save you a lot of money. Because the keys for Peugeot 407s from the dealers are £175 for this with the circuit boarding and cut. And then you have to have it reprogrammed at another £120 plus VAT. Well I wanted two of these so you'd be talking over about 600 pounds for two keys yeah expensive so i'm going to tell you how not to fall into the trap of getting the wrong key you can program these yourself and that's another thing so i'm going to explain that to you as well so this is the cheap diy version of getting a key a right key and program it to your car Right, the first thing is with these keys is if you've got a Peugeot 407, there's two different types of blade. So this is one thing you need to find out. This blade is called a VA2. It's got slightly square on the end, like a drop in it. If you can see it. And it's flat, completely flat on sides. That it was brought out for the very first ones. That was from 2004 to, I believe, to 2008. That is a VA2. So that's your first, that's, that's your blade. Then they altered it. And it's slightly different on the end. As you can see, it tapers. And it has a ridge in the side. This is the new type one that they, that they did. So this, I think this one's from 2009 to 2011 when the car ceased production. So there's two different types of blade for your key. So that's the first thing. You've got to make sure you get the right blade. Otherwise, when you take it to your key cutters, it won't fit in your lock and you've got some serious problems. So that's the first thing. You, that's the first thing. Oops, I've just dropped that blade. I don't know where it's gone. Right, so that's your blades. So the next process is getting the right key. Is they look the same. You turn them round, they look the same. This is just the standard one that comes with a car. They look the same until you open them up inside. The very first ones from 2004 to 2008 had this where it had a circuit board inside and the battery was actually on the circuit board. That was called a 532, 532 circuit board. And that came with the very first ones of the car, 2004 to 2008. Then they altered it and the circuit board, the battery was in the remote control and the circuit board clipped in so the battery was actually in the plastic of the casings. Two totally different casings. Uh, I'll see if I've got it actually on my phone to show you. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, always a bit awkward when you're filming one-handed. Let's... Oh dear, let's have a look. <coughs> oh, coughing like mad. <coughs> oh dear, let's have a look. Right. Yeah, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh dear me. <coughs> right. 
Right, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Right, that, that was the old type circuit board. From AliExpress. That's what they call a 532. It's got like a little notch at the top. And the board's more <coughs> square a shape. That's the that's that's the that's the very last one they did that type of shape. So that's one type of shape they did. And then they did uh is it let's have a look. Whereabouts is it? Uh if you can see it on there. That's rounded on both ends. It's rounded there and on that top corner. It's a different shape. So the very first ones was called a 532 from 2004 to 2011. And then the, the next one they brought out, which was that one, that one was 2009 to 2011. So there's two different circuit boards, but you've got to be very careful when you buy these circuit boards. If you buy them, I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a look, see if we can zoom in. Yeah, we can. On the bottom there, you order it from AliExpress. See if we can see it. ASK and FSK. Right on the left hand side. That is the modulation. The frequency to open and close the doors. So you've got to make sure you get the right one. So you're thinking oh great. Yep we've got the right circuit board. Have we got the right modulation? FSK. ASK. So now you're stumped again. Now this actually says it fits. On it. Brighten it back up again. It actually does say it fits there, look, 4 of Peugeot, 407, so you buy it, it might start the car, it's got the right transponder chip in it, an ID46 chip, it works on 433 megahertz, the frequency, you program it to your car, it'll start the car, but it won't open and close the doors properly, it won't open and close your doors, because you've got the wrong one, even though it says 407, there's lots for a 407. This is one of the problems you get. Now my advice to you, my advice to you when you're getting a key and you're getting the right key for your car is to do your research. My advice is go to the dealers like I did. Ask for, give them your registration of your car and they will give you the part number, the part number of your key and that's the part number for this car six four nine zero nine six last two numbers don't matter too much it's got a chip in it id 46 that's the circuit board i believe but that is the right one for this car now this is where you've got to get the right one. Even though that other one said it fitted, it will not work. It will not work. Because I've been there and I've done it. So, I, whereabouts is it? I cross-referenced it. Circuit board, the frequency, 536, uh, 532, ASK, the Keyblade VA2 made sure it fitted between 2004 to 2009. There, 2004, 2009, there, 2004, 2008, there, nine. Part number, key number, frequency, ID chip, and that's the part number. So I had to I cross reference that part number, and I found out that you can buy these. From AliExpress, you've got to make sure you get the right, right one. And I eventually found the right one. Right, uh, I found the right one, and the part number. Let's have a look. There, yeah. right in the very bottom corner. It says six four nine zero nine six part number. 
you've got to make sure you get the right one. 40407 2004 2008. It doesn't fit anything else. It only fits the 407. It only fits the 407. And it fits it. And that fits the 2004 to 2008. And it will open and close your doors. So if you are buying keys for your Peugeot 407 and trying to program them, and they won't open and close your doors just because it says it's for 407 make sure you go to your dealers you get that part number there make sure that part number tallies up because if you just type in 407 key it will not fit i found these on aliexpress and programmed to the car eight pound eight with a postage Two of them was just under £20, opposed to £600 at dealers. Yep, I had to get them cut. Got them cut, no problem. Programmed to the car, no problem. They open and close the doors perfectly. But you'll have a similar problem if you don't follow this pattern. The right blade and the right circuit board... And the right modulation and the right actual part number for it otherwise it will not work as i said i went to the dealers got that part number cross-referenced it went to aliexpress and got the exactly the right one they do sell the exact the right one on aliexpress for a 407 it does say it fits a 40 oops it does say it fits a 407 but you can buy ones that say yeah they'll fit a 407 on the same website 407 there look it also fits a 408 a 308 a c5 c2 all these cars it fits it doesn't fit a 407 it'll start the car it doesn't open and close the doors you have to get the right one so this is why i'm making this video it sounds a bit long-winded and boring but if you want to do a diy and save yourself a fortune getting the right key for your car make sure you get the right part number from the dealer cross-reference it cross-reference it And you will get the right key when you program your key into your car if you're going to do, do it diy school like me you need to get peugeot planet 2000 or lexia 3 put it on a laptop program it to your car program it to your car it's not that difficult the hardest thing is probably loading the uh, software onto the laptop you need a really old laptop running on uh, Windows XP. Uh, once you've got Windows XP loaded onto your uh, lap onto an old laptop, put your Peugeot Planet on, plug it into your uh, into your OBD2 thing there. You've got your Peugeot Planet thing plugged in into your laptop. Uh, put your key ignition. Go into your BSI, into your settings, uh, and go into uh, programming your keys in learning. There's a few videos on YouTube about actually putting the a pin code in but this is another thing you need a pin code when you buy a, when you buy your car you should have a book inside your glove box with all your service history and everything this is another thing i haven't told you but i'll tell you uh when you get your car you should have a pin number and the pin number is like a bank card number for your car if you if it's got lost in any shape or form you can get that pin number and i'll tell you how to get that pin number several ways one you can contact whoever bought your car off they're probably no use in ornament they've probably lost it but you can always try uh, the other option is uh you can go uh to the dealers which i did and uh, they will give you the pin if you've got the registration for your car and um uh, Peugeot said to me, Peugeot dealers, 
said to me, uh, it's £20, uh, phone them France up and they'll tell you, or they can post it for £5. So I let them post it for £5, I got a piece of paper and it came and it was uh, four letters, not numbers, four letters. And you get them four letters and you program it into your laptop, to do it into your Peugeot Planet, put your PIN number in, how many keys you want doing, put your key in, your ignition, take take it out every 15 seconds and how many keys you want doing. As I said, there's loads of videos showing you how to, how to program your keys, but you need a PIN code. The other way you can get the PIN code is if you've got somebody with a garage that's got a, an OBD2 scanner, a really good one, that can go into your computer and uh, and, and actually extract it out of you, what they call the BSI, which your BSI is behind the glove box there. And that actually stores all the information. It stores the, the mileage on the clocks, it, uh, the... Uh, what else is it? Uh, something to do with the indicators. It does something with the indicators. Uh, it does the uh, the pin code for starting the car, immobiliser, and a few other things. It, that's what they call the BSI, body something module or something it's called, different names they call it. But it's like a fuse box hidden behind the back of there. That, that stores it all. So you need that pin code from the dealers. Uh, the right blade, make sure you get your right blade so you know you've got right blade. Right circuit board, but as I said, the easiest way is go to the dealers, get the part number, cross-reference that part number. You can get one off AliExpress. I got one off AliExpress. I programmed it in. I got the pin code from the dealers and programmed it in, and all my keys work fine. I have now four keys for this car. You can program them a maximum of five keys to one car. If you program your keys... You have to program the old ones in at the same time. You put your key in your ignition, even though it's been programmed, type in you want five keys, put one of the old ones that's already programmed, put another one in, and it'll tell you on the computer every 15 seconds, put another one in, another one, another one, until you've done them all. You just program over the top of it. The chips, you can't use old circuit boards, or use an old remote control. You can't go and buy an old remote control from a scrapyard or anything like that. You can't just get an old scrapyard remote control and try to program it once the chips have been programmed uh they're no good the circuit boards are no good so make sure you get the right uh the right circuit board make sure you get the right part number uh and you can get a peugeot 407 cheap chinese aliexpress key fob to work like i did uh let's say i hope this video has helped you it's been a bit long-winded but hopefully this will help you make sure you get the right part number and then cross-reference it. Okay, bye-bye.